Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to my Super Mario Bros. 3 blind run for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we made our way through world number 5, uh, collecting uh, uh, the wands, breaking levels, I tried showing you the thing from Sky Tower, which ultimately failed. All in all, it's, uh, all in all, pretty good. So anyway, in this video, we're going to move along with world number six now. The Ice World. So let's get started. Load up SNES 9X, X64, and the ROM. So yeah, World 6. 1. So we have a good background this time. In the NES game, it was just a nice stripey background. This time we actually have uh, trees and a snowy forest this time as the background. So it's a very impressive background, I will admit. I am impressed by this background. Um... Uh, I've had the ROM hacks like Chaos Control and Second Run. I've had them for a while. And just in case there's people out there saying that I've played the games before, no I have not. The only games the only ROM hacks I've played before is ones that are already on my YouTube channel. Every other one is fair play. First time playing it. Very first time playing them. Oops. Didn't mean to do that to the mushroom. But yeah. Fair play. First time doing it. First time playing it. Oh my god, I was scrolling. So that means Chaos Control will be my first time playing Chaos Control. Okay? So, it's fair game, guys. Alright, so, we're back in the, the terrible uh, level known as Auto Scroll. I almost died then trying to get rid of all those blocks. But anyway, there's not really much to say about auto scrolling. We all know it's bad. We all know auto scrolling is bad and evil in so many ways. Okie dokie, so the tedious auto scroll levels are done. Well, actually, not all of them. I do believe, from the, if I remember from the NES game, I do believe there is more auto scrolling in this world. Now, okay, so Mushroom House. Let's go left. Haha, <laughs> Hammer Bro suit. And Hammer Bro fight. Or no, Hammer Bros fight, sorry. Hammer Bros fight. So we can use our lovely hammer over here. Once I find it. And the way back to the start is unlocked. Three. That was extremely lucky. Um, be careful. Like I said in the NES game, be careful in the ice world. Everything is very slippery, and if you don't know what to do, this could be a very hard place. I gotta try and get that star. I need more five ups. Don't! No! I ran out of running speed. Oh well, one up. Don't. Oh well. Anyway, fortress. 
So if you remember this fortress from the NES game, this is the one where we have the fire followers after us. And I can't speed up my game because I don't have a speed up button equipped on this emulator and configured to my controller. Okay, again, it's pretty simple. Just be careful. Of where I was not careful then. But just be careful of where you place yourself, pretty much. But anyway, so the next room is everyone's favorite room. Okay. So we're going to duck again. Will be nice to have that. Okay. Boom boom. How are you today? Trying to fly on us? Sorry. And there we go. We can move on. Okay, cards. No! So close. Oh well, four. And we have these things that I had enough of in World 5. Oh well. My World 8 video was about like 40 minutes long. Oops. Okay. And that's why I said be careful in this world. What did I do? I wasn't careful. Um, hang on. I saved after this, right? Okay. So, I didn't demonstrate in the NES game what the clouds do. Use the cloud, you can skip over a level, pretty much. But, we do not want to do that. So, let's just move on. Fireflower is not going to help me all that much in the ice world, mainly because... You're going to need a feather for most of this world. You're going to need a feather for most, if not all, of this world. I know I'm taking a longer way. There we go. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to waste another feather, so... Star. I remember I remember breaking this level back in the NES game. And I hear cards. Back to where the fortress was. Alright, let's see. Ten? No. Whoops. Okay. There's the ten right there. Okay, almost done. Dope! Oh well. Almost done. That set of, that card said it'll be done long before this game is over. So. Ah. Anyway, star. And again, the fact that of I was small Mario, I grabbed the power and I was big. And I don't want to waste any anything else. Okay, five. Okay, so it's the maze level again. Well, kind of a maze, but not really. Nice background for an ice cave. Since I already showed the full level itself in uh, the original NES game, we'll just take this year's shortcut all the way to the end. 
And you're not really missing all that much anyway. Like, you're missing a few blue guys shoot whatever at you. So you have to bring this thing with you. So you come up here and you throw your Koopa shell. And there you go. And okie dokie. You jump up. Star. And we get a mushroom house. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Middle. Hammer bro suit. Okie dokie. Six. So, for those who remember this level, this was the level I died on at the very end of the level back in the NES game. Let's hope we don't have bad luck like that this time. How on earth am I going to get past you in one piece? Oh, like that. Oh, not you guys. You're the relentless guys. Your guys will do anything to kill me. I died in the exact same place as the NES game. Right at the very end. Which means... Do I have a fire flower? Yes, I do. Time to break the stage. Well, kind of. Time to kind of break the stage, but not really. Sorry I'm not talking guys, I'm too focused. I'm too focused trying to figure out how I'm going to get past this in one piece. Okay, just like that. So now we have our relentless guys who will do anything to kill us. But a fire flower should deal with them pretty easily, so... <laughs> anyway. Five up. That brings me up to 46 lives, I do believe. Yep, I am correct. 46 lives. Okie dokie. Hammer bro fight. Or hammer bros fight, sorry. Oh, wow, that was lucky. And really well done. On my part, at least. Anyway, moving on. Time to line up a few things. Nope. Sugar. Seven. This was one of the levels that I broke in, uh, uh, this was one of those levels that I decided to break the level in the, back in the NES game. I lost my feather, that's not good, I need a feather for this. Be a feather. Why were you a coin? Why was that box a coin? Well, I have the next picks. 
the next best thing to a feather, which is a fire flower. It still doesn't help all that much, but it's better than nothing. Because as everybody knows, it's good to have powers with you. Which is, and as soon as I say that, I get hit. Moving on. Star. Course clear. You got a star card. Awesome. Next fortress. I've noticed I haven't saved all that much. Okay, moving on. It kind of makes it look more chilling, the 16-bit graphics on the ice instead of the 8-bit, because the 8-bit graphics on the ice was, like, horrible. And this, it kind of looks more chilling. And that's only my opinion now. Most people would say otherwise, but that's my opinion, so nah. Okie dokie. So moving on, we reach... Boom, boom. Come that here, boom, boom. And we're done. Well, we're done that fortress at least. So that's really well done. And we got a bridge leading back, which we don't want. Cards. Okay, one up. No. Nope. Ha <laughs> there we go. And we did it. So they'll mix up the cards on us and make us do it again sometime later. Anyway, eight. Kinda I still find it kinda odd on how this is an ice world and this level has not one thing to do with ice, because there is no ice at all in this level. I find that really odd. Or maybe I'm just being picky, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Star. I still don't get that, but oh well. Moving on. We're getting close to the end of World 6. 9. Highly recommended to save. We haven't saved in a while. So yeah, it would be highly recommended to save. We haven't saved in a good while. So it's highly recommended that we save again. Yeah, you could stay out of the water for most of this if you if you're so inclined. Highly recommended on my part considering I'm clumsy most of the time. And we're at the end. That was actually very simple. Five up. Ten. Can't be done small. You know what? Just for a laugh, I'm going to use a hammer bro suit. Just because. Just for a laugh. Just to be kind of funny. So as usual, same same old thing, just like the NES game. Two for one hit, really well done. Really well done on my part, anyway. Haha. -ha.
Nope, we're not taking that. We're going to see if we can get through the entire level with the Hammer Bro suit. It's probably going to fail, but oh well. Sucks. Ha, we did it. We did it. We beat the entire level on a hammer bro suit just for a laugh. Ha ha ha. Fortress, let's see if we can t let's see if we can continue our laughing streak through the next through the third and final fortress of world 6. Back turned for a reason. Oh my god, you can actually kill the ghosts. Good for me. Well, you can't kill the ghost bars, though. Kind of odd how you can... Aw. Oh, lost my power. Oh, well. It's kind of funny how you can actually kill the ghost, but not the ghost bars. That's actually very amusing. Anyway, moving right along. Remember to be careful. We were not careful this time, unlike the NES game. The NES game, we were lucky as anything. Okay. And here we are now. Come here, Boom Boom. And there we go. He's beaten. For the final time of World 6... We can say goodbye to Boom Boom. Just did a boom boom. And we're moving on right to the castle. I must say, I was very impressed that I got through a whole level on Hammer Bro Soup. That was actually kind of funny. Anyway, moving right along, what do we have? What do we have? Uh, we'll use a fire flower. World 6. <laughs> a Monty Mole. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed into a muddy mole. <laughs> Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Oh, boy. He's been changed into a mole. Oh, dear. Anyway, World 6 airship, guys. So, let's save. Let's begin. I always has a good laugh at what the uh, Koopa family transforms the kings into like the Monty Mole for this world. <laughs> oh my. I remember there was a the the Koopa Lanes that transformed one of the kings into a seal. I can't remember which one that was, I don't know. I can't remember anymore which one which uh, king that was one of the Koopa Lanes transformed a king into a seal and that made me L O L. That one hundred percent made me L O L now if I wanted to I could break the level and just go take the upper route and skip everything but I didn't actually feel like it so yeah we're gonna have to take this path because we don't have p-wings to get up there and even if you did get up there you're not missing all that much so so yeah, we're at our boss now. Okie dokie. Now I don't know if this is Iggy or Larry. It looks a lot like Larry, but it could be Iggy. I've been known to be wrong. Okay, we beat him. Mwahaha. We might have lost our feather, but we still beat him. So, oh well. I still don't know the list of the Koopa family, but oh well, list of bosses you fight in order. Once I figure that out, I'll be so happy, but oh well. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Greetings. I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third world. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. B-Wings! And we're on the World 7. 
So, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching my World 6 video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you guys next time. Until then, this is Gabriel Coombs saying adios, amigos.